Alright, so we're in UDK, we've got our zone 1 level open, and let's add some bots. Uh, we need to create two patrol points for our bots. Uh, the bot will walk between those two patrol points. So just right click, add actor anywhere on the map, add actor, and add path node. Ideally you want this to be in line with your where, with the plane on which the player will walk, but it doesn't have to be precise right now. Uh, now right click again and let's add another path node. Add actor, add path node. Cool. So now while holding control select both path nodes and press F4 to open the properties. Under movement uh, location uh, change the value of the Y property to 500. This way it's guaranteed to be in line with the player because our, pl our player is going to be at Y equals 500. And uh, if you click the little cascading window icon and break this up into four viewports, um, you could verify that it is indeed on the same plane. Okay, cool. So with the two uh, path nodes still selected, uh, let's hop into Kismet. Great, so now just right click anywhere on the canvas and select new object variables using path nodes. Uh, this creates links to the, this creates variables for the path nodes in Kismet. Um, what we want to do first is spawn the bot. As soon as the level loads, we want to spawn our bot. So to do that, we're going to use an actor factory. So right click, select new action, actor, actor factory. And let's immediately connect level loaded to spawn actor. Now we need to set up the actor factory to spawn the correct actor. Actor factory is capable of spawning anything. Um, so we need to tell it to spawn our bot. So let's select the type of factory. So if you look at the properties of the actor factory, um, <coughs> under factory there's a little blue down arrow. So click that and select actor factory AI. So we'll be creating an AI controller essentially. Um, and let's change the controller class to tomato bot. So if you follow the guide so far and compile the script successfully uh, from the previous um, from the previous section, you should have this option available. And uh, for pawn class, let's select tomato pawn. The reason we want to use tomato pawn is because um, tomato pawn is restricted to a single plane, so the bot won't get out of plane and will become impossible to shoot. Okay, cool. Uh, now we need to give the bot a spawn point. We will use one of our path nodes. So connect the spawn point connector to the path node and uh, the spawned connector is essentially the output. So this is the object that will be created. Uh, in our case, this will be a tomato bot. So right click on that and select create new object variable. So this is the output variable. This is the bot that will be created. And we ne we're going to need to configure it using our sequence action that we made earlier. So now let's do that now. S uh, select new action, tomato, configure tomato bot. And let's immediately connect the finished from the active factory to the end. Uh, what are we configuring? We're configuring the output of the actor factory, which is a tomato bot. Uh, firing target will be the player, if you remember. Uh, so let's connect that to the player. We can create a new player variable, but it, I'm just going to link the whole thing down here. It looks a little bit messy, but. Uh, save some time. Uh, maximum firing range. I'm not really sure what to put here at this point. Um, so let's just try 750 maybe. Yeah, That should work. Uh, and uh, the two patrol points. So the first patrol point, patrol start, will be the spawn point. Uh, and the patrol end will be the other spawn point. The other path node. Excuse me. Uh, it looks like it's all set. Okay. Yeah. Looks like it's all set. Uh, might be wrong, but let's test it out. Uh, so let's close out of Kismet and let's run our level. Great. Here I come, here I come, here I come. Oh no. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to give him a gun. <laughs> let's go back into Kismet. Uh, click on Actor Factory and Inventory List. Expand that. Um, and let's give him a rocket launcher. Uh, that's this is not gonna end well because I don't have a gun either. But let's see what happens. Here I come! Here I come! Uh oh. Yeah, that works. 
Is he still chasing me? Oh. Alright. I guess that worked out well. Um, now let's check our uh, log. To see what the bot is doing. To see if we, we can see our script log. Yeah, I see the player going to charging no strafe state. Begin moving. Move defending. Excellent. It looks like it's all working. Um, you, you'll want to rebuild your paths. So you, you'll want to go into build build all uh, before you, you finalize this. Uh, great.